Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Isaiah Warlock here. This video is going to be a tutorial on how to sound like the trap metal artist Ghost of Blue. Somebody requested me to do a tutorial on how to sound like him, and previously I hadn't heard of him, but I checked out his music and it's pretty cool. I don't know if you guys watched the Scar Lord tutorial video, but it is fairly similar to that one, so go check that one out as well if you haven't. But anyways, if you like this artist and you want to figure out how to sound like him to do a cover of him, or to just to have an impression of him, or maybe you just want to get into your own music and you like how he sounds, this is the perfect video for you. So if you do end up enjoying this video, please consider subscribing. It's completely free and you can unsubscribe whenever you want, so you might as well and it helps me out a lot. To sound like Ghost of Blue, there's only two things you're going to have to keep in mind. Now, Ghost of Blue actually only has two deliveries, and a delivery just means the way they sound, the different voices they can do in their music, and he only has two as far as I've heard. He has his scream, his very high-pitched, almost death metal sounding scream, it's very cool, and then he just has his rapping voice. But the way he does his scream is like this. As far as I can tell, he's doing, uh, he could be doing a few different things with his scream. The thing is, is that he puts tons of distortion over his voice, making it sound very heavy and very cool, but at the same time, it's very difficult for me to tell what kind of scream he's doing. For this, I'm going to be assuming he's doing a fry scream because he's either doing a, a basically what's called like a clean fry scream or he's doing just kind of a high-pitched yell using his vocal cords as distortion and then distorting it so it sounds more like a fry scream. But the thing about that is I'm not going to show you how to do that because that will actually damage your vocal cords pretty bad if you do it too much. So I'm going to be showing you how to do the fry scream version of what I think Ghost of Blue sounds like. So first I'll show you how to do the scream with your actual voice and then I'll show you how to mix it because a lot of what Ghost of Blue's sound is, is how he mixes it. So first you're going to know you're going to want to know how to do a fry scream. I also explained it in the Scar Lord tutorial if you want to go get some extra information from that one. And I'm going to be doing a video soon about how to do a fry scream in general with a lot more specifics. Here I'm just going to go over it fairly quickly. So in order to do a fry scream, you want to start by making this sound. Uh, I'll get a bit closer. Uh, now how do you get, how do you make that sound? You might already instinctively know or, or try this explanation. So wh when you wake up in the morning and you're very sleepy and you're, somebody's talking to you and you respond and you're just kind of like, uh, 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 uh. It's just kind of a grumpy, sleepy voice. And you actually get this sound automatically by just going down into your lower register and then talking fairly quietly, almost whispering. Uh, 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 I don't want to wake up. I don't want to get out of bed. Okay, so it's that sound. Hopefully, you, everybody can do that by now. It's just, uh, it's very simple. Now, what you're going to want to do is take that sound and constantly apply. Uh, more and more pressure with your diaphragm and just push it with your voice to the point where it gets really loud. So it sounds like this. Uh, 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 yeah! Okay, so you get the idea. That is how you do a fry scream. Now there's several different types of fry screams. The type of fry scream that Ghost of Blue is doing is I, I would call it a clean fry scream. So some, some streamers, they'll do a fry scream and they'll push extra hard to get kind of a note underneath it, like this, yeah! But that's not at all what Ghost to Blue is doing. What he's doing is doing a clean fry scream, so he's doing the fry without using any of his actual voice. So this right now, I'm using my voice. But if I just do this, ah, hello, I'm not using my voice anymore, I'm just using the fry. But now, but now I'll switch to using both. Hello, now I'm using both my voice and the fry, and it sounds a bit more like Scar Lord or maybe Ghost Maid. But what Ghost of Blue is actually doing is taking the fry uh, with no voice, and this just can actually be fairly challenging. But try it. Once you get to the point where you can do a fry scream, uh, just make sure you're not putting any of your actual vocal cord movement into the sound. Uh, now what you want to do is make it really high, because Ghost of Blue kind of has one tone that he sticks at as far as his scream, and it's a very high tone. Like I said, it's kind of like a death metal or death core kind of screech. So it sounds like this. Okay, it sounds like that. It's very high. With no actual voice in it, as I already said. So the, the way you're going to make it higher is just... This thing right here is called your voice box or your larynx. Just move that up in your throat, uh, and you'll get you'll sound like this, uh, right? Which doesn't really sound like him yet. But then open your mouth, open it really wide so you let all the air out, as much air out as possible. Yeah, yeah, you sound like this. 
So that's how Ghost of Blue sounds. Now that's just the scream. Once you figure that out, you're gonna to wanna to start mixing it. So whether you're doing a cover or a song that just sounds like Ghost of Blue, bring it into your DAW. You can even do this in Audacity, which is a very simple, free DAW. Anybody can get it, you can download it onto your computer. So once you've actually done the scream and put it in your software, you're just gonna to wanna to use one or two effects on it. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to use is an EQ. So EQ just stands for equalizer, and basically what an equalizer does is it lets you control what frequencies of the sound you're actually listening to. So a sound, usually in nature, has all the frequencies, and I don't know what the numbers are, but it has all of them usually. And then what an EQ allows you to do is take some away and maybe make some uh, a lot louder. So for example, you have bass frequencies and you have treble frequencies. It's actually like that for you, bass and treble frequencies. So to get this Ghost of Blue sound, first open the EQ, so you might, what you want to do is get the bass cut. So open the bass cut and just apply it to the voice. Now you can change how the bass cut works. Watch some, if you watch some tutorials about how equalizers work, you can change the sound. But basically it's just going to cut out all the bass frequencies of the sound to make it sound just kind of uh, a little bit lighter and a little bit more like it. I don't know how to describe it, but it gives it a certain sound that Ghost of Blue does. It sounds pretty cool. Once you've done the EQ and all the bass frequencies are cut out, then you're going to want to do some distortion. You can use overdrive distortion, and Ghost of Blue uses a ton of distortion. That's why I can't, I couldn't really tell what kind of scream he's doing. But you're gonna to want to open overdrive distortion, so you're gonna to to use a ton of it. So just put it on until it sounds good. At a certain point, it will start to sound just like white noise, but just get in that good middle spot where it sounds super, super distorted, but not quite, but, but still to the point where you can kind of understand what you're saying. And so that's it. That's how you sound like Ghost of Blue. If you want to have a more in-depth tutorial on how to do a fry scream, remind me to make the video in the comments, but I am going to make it soon, um, and I'll explain a lot more how you can actually do the fry scream sound. I just went over it very quickly in this video. So yes, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out my other videos. Check out my other tutorials, and I will see you later. Goodbye. Staying up all night on my Game Boy, no nightlight on the wall, trying not to make noise, screeches, jumping up the screen, but I can't scream, can't sleep, feel like everything is just a green screen, bleeding on my knees.